Dialogue flow agents are just like real life agents who provide you different services. Think about booking an air ticket or a hotel for your holidays or a cruise through an agent. All you need to do is call your agent, tell your requirement and it's the agent's responsibility to get the job done. In dialogue flow, we create intents which you can relate with different services that agent provides. Let us start by creating an agent with all default settings and then we will create some intents. It does create a couple of default intents. It's up to you if you want to use those. We will come back to these default intents in a while. We want this agent to provide us weather and train services. This means we need to create two intents, one for each service. Let us create weather with a couple of very simple training phrases. How is the sky? What is the temperature? What is the weather? On the basis of these training phrases, the agent trains itself with machine learning to understand the natural language input of the user. If user asks anything matching these training phrases or even similar to these, agent will interpret it and provides the weather service. In the responses section, we can add a few hard-coded responses only for testing purpose. It's sunny today. It's wonderful, bright and sunny outside. Well, you can plan an outing. It's a clear sky today. Similarly, let's create another intent, train. Add a few training phrases. Any outage on train service? Are trains running? What is the status of trains? And some responses for this service as well. The blue line will not be working today. All good except the blue line. Don't plan the blue line. It is out of service today. The default intent is what we can use as welcome intent which is invocated when user starts the interaction. Though it is invoked by default, still you can add some training phrases and different responses here as well. The other default intent, default fallback intent, is primarily used to handle those queries the agent is not trained for. In this example, our agent is good to handle the weather and train related queries. For any other query, it will trigger the fallback intent. You have the option to end the conversation in all the intents. We are going to opt for ending the conversation in the fallback intent. So our agent is ready. Let us test it in Google Assistant Simulator. Okay, here's the test version of my test app. Welcome. What can I do for you? Hi. Welcome. What can I do for you? This is one of the responses that we defined in default welcome intent. Let us check the train service. Any outage on train service? All good except the blue line. So the agent knows that it has to pick a response from the train intent. Let us ask the same query again. Any outage on train service? Don't plan the blue line. It is out of service today. It does not always respond with the same response. It responds with one of the responses that we defined in the corresponding intent. Let us now ask about the weather service. How is the sky? Well, you can plan an outing. It is a clear sky today. Okay, this is what we expected. Now let us try to ask, what about the sky? It's wonderful, bright and sunny outside. If you have noticed, this is not the expected training phrase we defined in the intent, but we still got the expected response. This is the beauty of the amazing machine learning algorithm in place that trains the agent to understand the natural language input. Finally, let us ask the agent something that it is not trained for. Tell me something about cricket. Sorry, I can't help you right now. Try again later. This is the response from the fallback intent. Also, it ended the conversation because this is what we opted for. That's it from this tutorial. Hope you can now write your own agent and intents. See you in next video. Bye-bye.